one of the earliest memories I have of the Wasso was really not necessarily the Wasso. It was a man whose uh, name, uh, or stage name if you like, nom de plume, was Fidelio. And Fidelio was the West Australian music critic from about 1916 to 1965, an astonishing record. And uh, he, Fidelio, of course, is one of my favourite operas, so uh, I knew about that from a very young age, that he, was, he had named himself after Beethoven's only opera. And when my parents couldn't go to concerts, they would read what Fidelio had said about them. And he was the most marvellous man because he enc was encouraging. And if people, uh, when you read through um, Marcia Harrison's book, the number of times he is quoted, and it's always in such a positive way. And if he obviously didn't think the performance was much good, he would talk about the music, which was very kind. But my, a great friend of mine from university days, Tim Scott, was um, Fidelio, or his name was really uh, Albert Cornwell. Tim was Albert's grandson. And uh, in those days, the, the, uh, the critic had to get his um, critique into the West Australian before the concert had actually um, finished. So Tim would go along as a, a young boy with his grandfather. The concert would be about 10 minutes from finishing time. And uh, Fidelia would have to run out of Capitol Theatre, up, up William Street, along St George's Terrace to the West Australian offices, race around and finish writing it. And then as soon as the concert was over, Tim, the little boy, would have to run the same route, find his grandfather and let him know how many times the conductor was called back, whether the audience clapped for a long time or a short time, so that his grandfather could finish off the, the criticism. It's the most marvellous thought, really, isn't it? That today, people just get on their mobile phone or they, they ring through or they type through on their uh, iPod or something, their review. But um, this was really pretty hands-on sort of stuff.